Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I don't know. I, my high school years were just me watching George Collin on YouTube. Uh, George, yeah, George Collin so, was a big, like, it's just came. the energy of it. Just oh. when the guy goes off, he goes off, and you're like, <sighs> dude, yeah. I discovered George Collin when I was 16, and it just shaped every, like, it's sort of like a record scratch, and everything just sort of went, you know, like in a movie, where everything I, spins around. You know? I kind of did his uh, the planet is fine, the people are fucked bit in high school in English oh, really? class. Yeah, that's awesome. And my teacher was like, "That's a bit, you know, what's the language there, young yeah, man?" Yeah. I had a teacher show me George Collins. That's how I first discovered him. Like, I had, you know, the cool teacher that sort of yeah, he's like, "Don't give a fuck." Fucking threw yeah. George Collins on, and no one else gave a shit. And I was just sitting there like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Um, oh man! And that then I just went. You go down the wormhole of like watching everything. And have you seen the documentary that George Collins? I haven't seen the documentary yet. No, that's really worth a watch. I it's don't have a TV good. and I don't have Netflix anymore either. So. Oh shit! Sure. <laughs> I'm a poor, poor, struggling artist uh, at the moment. Yeah, and I'm it's enjoying it. Worth finding, finding it, and just indulging because it really is interesting. Like seeing how every like ten years he changed as a comedian. And became like you know. I mean, no, he he's a fascinating case study of he tried to do what was sort of the trend, mm. and at some point he was just like, nah, I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah, like there's yeah, clips exactly. of him, you know, being in a suit and tie doing comedy yeah. on the telly back in like the 60s. Yeah, and he's like, fuck this, I'm the hippie guy, and then yeah, he and like he just long hair becomes yeah. Mm. And then the older he got, the angrier and grumpier he got. That's almost I don't know if it, I don't know if it's controversial, but that's like my favorite era of Colin is like early 2000s to like right up until his death because he died like 2009 yeah, eight? eight i think yeah. the the last special last the special was 2008. life is worth losing that was not that was getting a bit too dark yeah for my pretty, taste yeah it's pretty but i love the fact he's this old crocky old man yeah he's just done Fuck. Ugh. And it's like, like you get one month after I delete you from my phone. Well, yeah, just talking about scratching people out of it, like who die in his life. I'm like fuck, that's <laughs> that's awesome. Um, uh, there's so many. I could talk about George Collin for hours, man. He's, yeah. he's awesome. Yeah, yeah. No more stuff. He yeah. plays for your stuff, dude. Uh, you, that like hearing things like that really, I feel like shapes how you start thinking about things because I think that that's important for writing as well. Yeah, no, he he basically got me out of religion. He's part of Dude, religion. me too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, because religion is big in South Africa. People are very Christian. I was raised Jehovah's Witness. Uh, seriously? Fucking hell. So yeah, that must have been, I mean, I was Catholic, but that must have been way more... It was, I mean, yeah, because uh, like... For us, that's like a lifestyle and a life goal, and that's like yeah. a source of meaning in your life. Like I used to knock on doors at fourteen and tell you about Jesus, Jesus. And, you know, <laughs> and all that. But um, basically, I like I allowed myself to just like in the beginning, it was like curiosity. I was like, oh, he's got some points, but because it was funny, yeah, yeah, he could keep my attention long enough that some of his ideas, I was like, I mean, he's got a point. Yeah, you know yeah. that's all. It just that's all. It's like he's got a point. See, do you know what turned it for me was that bit he has on um, him worshiping the sun because you yeah, can see no, it. I, yeah, but I don't worship the sun. I pray to Joe Pesci. Yeah, yeah, Joe, yeah Joe He Joe looks Pesci. like the kind of guy who can get shit done. done yeah, <laughs> it's just like fucking brilliant, man. And it's like after that, I was like, wow, like he, it's true. And it's like, but and if going, God is real, may He strike down this audience. Yeah. <laughs> and then the whole like. If you do this, you go to hell where you will perish and burn in eternity and for fire and ever and ever and ever. But God loves you, you know. Well, he, loves he loves you, you. <laughs> and he needs money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that was. But yeah, basically, that was like coming from a very strict religious Christian background. Yeah, and, and I butchered that, that completely, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But like just seeing, having that sort of just. A little gap in the, you know, chink on the armor just through George Carlin stuff. Yeah. And then that just sort of opened up that whole Yeah, I was like, fuck, has my whole life been bullshit? Has it all been a lie? Dude, I mean, you think it's funny and it is kind of funny, but like that, it took me about two years from like 14 till about 16 till I was like, okay, I'm out. Mentally, I'm out. I still oh, had to yeah. go for a little bit after that, but mentally I was kind of done. It's a big, I don't think people, because I mean, Scotland, as much as there's like the Celtic Rangers and the whole mm. religious thing, it's not very religious in terms of people going to church on the Sundays. Like most people don't really do that here. Like there is churches, but it's like, uh, yeah, it's like like people are aware of it and they know. Like it's an identity thing, but it's yeah. not something you practice yeah. daily. Yeah, exactly. Like, and South Africa is very Christian, so like coming out of that is like it's very different. It's almost against the grain, you know. And it's like 
Feels it's like a big step. You feel dirty. You feel naughty. You feel like you shouldn't be doing that just by not thinking religion is for you and like accepting yeah. the whole. And it's just like you feel like you, sh- you know, yeah. I, I mean, obviously I, I, not an outcast, but like in a very small sense, um, if you know. But like, yeah, no, I actually I remember the the. It just as we were talking about, the, just that feeling came back when the first time that thought sort of settled in my mind of. I think the God that I was, you know, raised with might just be made up. Yeah. <laughs> And that was like, huh. It's like everything just sort of boof, comes back yeah, down. You know, especially for me, because that's like your entire life is yeah. based on, you know, serving this God so you can get, you know, into like mm. the new world and, you know, live forever. Yeah. Uh, so it's like that's your, like everything you do is somehow related to that. Yeah. So you do you, if you don't mind me asking, do your family know you're not Jehovah's Witness? Oh, I mean, really they're about to find out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No, I mean, I've never been uh, baptized. And okay. then I've kind of made it clear that I'm, I have no it's interest. Not for you. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I respect that, you know, like, I respect the role religion plays in people's lives. And I know that some people, you know, it's great for them. Some people it's horrible for because I know ex- examples of both. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so I'm just like, it's not for me. Now, if you piss me off, I can go off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, if you don't leave me alone, I can't go go off off, on any religion at any time. But other than that, you know, let people live their lives. Yeah. Live and let live. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not like atheist and I hate all religion. It's just not for me and I let people do what they want to do. Yeah, yeah. It's to clarify. Yeah, it's hard to hate something that kind of has laid the foundations of whatever the world is today, you know. Yeah. Like, you can hate the bad stuff, but a lot of the good stuff comes from that as well. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So you got to take the good with the bad. I, I really need a pee right now. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah, go for it, man.